Welcome to the brand new section of this course, Scala Integration. Let's have an overview of this section. We'll begin with creating a client in Scala, then get insight of managing indices. After that, we will be managing mappings, then look at managing documents. Next, we'll be executing a standard search, and finally executing a search with aggregations. So let's start with the first video of this section, which is creating a client in Scala. In this video, we'll first add Elastic 4S library to the build.sbt configuration, then import client classes and embassies, and finally initialize the client, providing an Elasticsearch URI. The first step for working with Elastic 4S is to create a connection client to call Elasticsearch. Similar to Java, the connection client is native and can be a node or a transport one. You will need an up and running Elasticsearch installation, a Maven tool, or an IDE that supports Scala programming, such as Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA. The code for this video can be found in the Elastic 4S sample directory, and the reference file is clientsample.scala. To create an Elasticsearch client, and for create or search a document, we will perform these steps. The first step is to add the Elastic 4S library to the build.sbt configuration using these lines of code. To use this library, we need to import client classes and embassies. Now we can initialize the client, providing an Elasticsearch URI. Now to index a document, we execute index into with the document like the highlighted part. Now we can search for the document we indexed earlier. So the result, if the document is available, is same as highlighted. Elastic 4S hides a lot of bowler plate required for initializing an Elastic client. The simpler way to define a connection to Elasticsearch is via Elasticsearch Client URI, and this allows you to provide these. First is multiple server endpoints, separated by commas that is Elasticsearch, local host which is 127.0.0.1, and with port 9300. The other settings to be provided to the transporter with query arguments that is this. Now after having defined Elasticsearch Client URI, you can create Elastic Client which is used for every Elasticsearch call. You can initialize Elasticsearch Client in several ways, via Elasticsearch Client URI, similar to JDBC Connection, which is very handy because you can store it as a simple string in your application configuration file via this line of code. You can also do it by providing a simple host and port. It can also be by provided custom settings, Elasticsearch Client URI, and a list of plugin classes to the advanced customization. It can also be done via an already defined Elasticsearch node. And finally, via an already defined Elasticsearch client. Fantastic! This marks the end of the video.